morning from New York City. We actually got here yesterday, but I decided to just kind of take yesterday to enjoy the day. I didn't really, well, I vlogged and I'll share the clips with you guys, but I didn't really like vlog, like talk to you guys. But good morning. It is Saturday and we are headed out to get coffee in Brooklyn. It's a really rainy day today. So today will be like most of our like indoor activities kind of day. Just as a disclaimer, this is not going to be like a what you should do in New York City on your first trip because we're just bopping around, going with the flow. And I think like that's like the best trips like in a general list of things we want to get done. We kind of just go with the flow, especially somewhere like this where it's just so busy and so go, go, go. I feel like you have to just give yourself some leeway to do whatever you're in the mood to do. Like we were going to go to a show or even a hockey game tonight, but we just weren't sure how we'd feel. So we're just kind of going with the flow of the day, but we're headed to Brooklyn to get coffee this morning. And yeah, it's kind of like just a rainy overcast day today, but I don't think they're supposed to get a lot of rain. So that's nice. And then the only things that we have on the agenda today are going to the Intrepid Museum, which is like the air space boat museum. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you guys a little recap on what we did yesterday. Oh, we also need to go to the Harry Potter store today because I really want to try butterbeer for the first time. You guys missed it. I'll link our New York City vlogs from 2021 down below because we did a lot of the Christmas stuff, but also a lot of touristy stuff. Like we did the Museum of Natural History and all that. So I feel like every time we come, we kind of just do a little bit more. So we're not going to cover everything this weekend, but it'll be a fun little quick weekend. And then tomorrow will be a really fun day because it's supposed to be sunny and 16. And so we're going to spend the morning in Central Park with a coffee and just walk by flower shops and just have like a fun spring morning. Okay, yesterday. What did we do yesterday? We got to New York City, took an Uber here. Our room wasn't ready because they wanted to give us a room with a nice view, which was so sweet. We're staying at the Arlo Midtown, by the way. I have a discount code. This isn't sponsored at all. They just gave me a code. They were super kind and gave me a discount on my stay. So I just want to be transparent about that. Highly recommend. It's really beautiful. Everyone's really nice. And we just waited in their like coffee bar area and got a green juice and like a yogurt and some substance in our bellies while we waited for a room to be ready. And then we walked over to Times Square and the Disney store and just like walked in a few other stores there. We grabbed Liberty Bagels, which is our favorite bagel place. Our room was ready, so we came back here, got ready, ventured to the Chelsea Market, which was probably my favorite part of the day yesterday. It was so fun. They had a nice bookstore, a bunch of food vendors, like just some cutie little stores. It was honestly highlight and then we walked over to little island which is just like a little man-made island literally on the water which was super cool and then we had reservations at the morgan library it's free between five and seven on friday so we went there it was really really busy though i honestly probably would have gone like during the day and just like paid to go because it was really busy and matt and i are not super into art which is ironic because we have tickets to go to the met later but i think you just have to do the met once in your life and so it was a lot of art at the Morgan Library, but the actual library part was really beautiful. I had Los Tacos for dinner, which were so good. I had the steak ones, Matt had the pork and the chicken. And then we kind of just like walked around the Rockefeller area because we had top of the rock reservations at nine. So we just kind of walked around. Oh, we got ice cream at Van Leeuwen and it was so yummy and delicious. That was our day yesterday and today like i said we're gonna go have a little morning in brooklyn and just kind of see where the day takes us yeah and matt keeps calling it brooklyn and <laughs> we're going to brooklyn -in. can you tell we're brooklyn -in fans brooklyn -in. all right let's head out let's figure out which subway we need to take actually
That's really good. Yeah, it's like, it's like sweet. sweet. But like. Our first butter beer, and it's not even at Universal. I know. A while later, and by a while it's 3 30, we clearly got stuck in the rain. We didn't bring umbrellas, amateur move. But we got a lot done today, as you guys saw, and yeah, we're back just sitting for a little bit. We just got some cappuccinos, and we both got new books at bookstores. So we're just gonna sit because we have such a nice view and read for a bit. And then I think we're gonna do pizza for dinner because we have like sit down meals tomorrow, and we both really wanted to have like either a street hot dog, a street hot dog. That sounds so sketchy. Mm -hmm. Like a street cart hot dog or pizza. So I think we're gonna do that tonight, and. I don't know. We'll see where the night takes us. I think the rain's supposed to stop. So we both got new books. Matt got Matt's been wanting this book for so long. Met, uh, Marcus Aurelius, and he's a what was he a Roman king? Yeah, emperor. And a Roman emperor. The book's called Meditations. I'm sure some people have heard of it. And he's been wanting it for so long. We can't find it. Well, we could find it new, but Matt's been trying to thrift it. I feel like, and he hasn't been able to. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful, honestly. And then I got the house in the Cerulean Sea, which is a little hard to find in Canada. I also just want to say that um, we did get gifted city passes for this trip, but we were going to buy them. And I think it's definitely worth your while if you're coming to do like touristy stuff. It's your first, if it's your first few times in New York City, because it honestly pays itself off. I will put the price on the screen of what it is. We have to pick five attractions for like one set cost and it's a lot cheaper than buying them individually. So our state building, the Museum of Natural History, and then you get to pick three of the following attractions. So you can do Top of the Rock, the Ferry, 9-11 Museum, um, the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum, and then the Guggenheim. So I think it's a really great deal if you're coming to do like touristy stuff. We did a lot of stuff, like I said last time on our last trip, like we did the 9-11 Museum and the Museum of Natural History. So we're not doing that this time, but we used it for Top of the Rock and the Intrepid Sea, Air and Space Museum. And we were going to go to the Guggenheim, but it's like under a lot of like construction stuff right now. But <clears throat> what we want to do tonight, we'll give you guys an update on what we end up doing. We're headed back out. We just sat looking on TikTok for like things to do tonight. So we're gonna go to the Met and then we're going to get dinner. We'll probably get pizza. And then I think we're gonna go to like a bar. I think we're gonna go to Barcade or another like arcade bar here. But we tried to get into a comedy show and we obviously just did it a little too last minute. So we're gonna try to go to one tomorrow maybe. But we're just gonna see where the night takes us. Like I said, this is like a very impromptu New York City vlog. Like it's not very well planned out or anything. We're just kind of going with the flow. So we'll see where the night takes us. Not that we'll be out crazy late, but mm. let's go to the mat. Guess who did not go to the bar and got pizza instead? What time is it? Like not even, it's nine? 8.30. No, 8 8 8.30, It's 8.40 and we are going back to the hotel room to eat our pizza and relax. I don't know who we, who we were kidding thinking we were going to a bar. Oh my God, I cannot imagine. We're exhausted. Oh. Is it good? How is this $1.50? This This is the life. Good morning. Happy Sunday. We're headed out to the Upper West and the Upper East Side today to spend some time in Central Park this morning, grab coffee, read our books, see the beautiful, beautiful sunny day here, and then it's gonna be a fun jam-packed day. It's currently nine degrees and sunny right now, a high of 15, so I'm really excited. I'll show you guys my outfit super quick. I'm gonna look at my outfit. I just have on a jean jacket from Old Navy and then this maxi dress, which is from Marshalls, I've got my old navy tennis shoes, and then my Uniqlo Crescent bag, which is a game changer when you travel because it's so much in here and it's not very heavy. And it was $20, so.
Like I could just walk all day and like look at these beautiful houses. It's our first Levain cookie. Mm. Is it, oh my gosh, look at it. Oh, it's warm. Mm -hmm. to get dinner it's so windy you probably literally can't even hear me but we're headed to timeout market we're not gonna get Italian for dinner because we ended up having Italian for lunch at Spritz they were both kind of full so we're just gonna walk around timeout market and see what, what to, eat. to eat what's on the oh, menu look at the sunset kind of Our last bagels of the trip. Enjoying the view one last time. Hi guys, we are home from New York City and I wanted to include a cost breakdown in this video for you guys. I was gonna do it in a separate video, but I honestly thought it made the most sense to be in this video because you guys would have just seen the travel vlog what we did what we ate what we spent and i thought it'd be nice to attach on to hear how much we actually spent just to give you guys an idea in case you are planning a trip to new york city anytime soon also the sun is popping in and out so i apologize if the lighting changes there's not too much i can do about it but yeah i will say that everyone's definition of a budget friendly trip is going to be so different based on individuals couples the occasion families etc this is just how much we spent if you follow along with my vlogs back here in ottawa you guys will know we're pretty budget conscious we shop cheap grocery stores we buy clearance groceries uh, we don't eat out a lot and so when we go on trips we really use that as an opportunity to treat ourselves even if you watch this video, you guys will see we don't really do a ton of sit-down meals. We prefer to spend our money on coffee and attractions and souvenirs, honestly. But I thought it would be fun to include a little cost breakdown for you guys just to give you an idea in case you're planning a trip. I feel like not a lot of people include this, so I thought it could be helpful. But just want to say everyone's trip is going to be so different. Everyone is going to prioritize different things. We personally just don't really prioritize sit-down restaurants all that much. And yeah. This cost breakdown is going to be for two adults and it's going to be in Canadian dollars. We're in New York City from March 24th to 28th, 2023 and this was just the US dollar to Canadian dollar conversion then. It's really, really bad right now so, so that gave me a little bit of heart attack when I looked at my credit card but I will put on the screen the cost in Canadian dollars and US dollars just to give you guys an idea and yeah, this is just what we spent. There's multiple right ways to do it. I will also give maybe some tips and tricks throughout this but... That's kind of just my little spiel. Flights, we paid $210 Canadian, um, and that was after using a companion voucher and credit card points, and that was just like the taxes that we had to pay for both of us. It's expensive flying out of Ottawa. Personally, we didn't want to drive and have to worry about parking our car in the city. We find New York City a very walkable, public transportation friendly place, so we don't feel the need to drive, and it's a lot quicker, obviously, to fly. That was our cost to fly. And then our hotel was $1,252 Canadian. That was after the discount we were given from Arlo. We did get a media discount, like I said in the video. For example, on our last trip in December 2021, we stayed at a very outdated hotel. It was very central, but very outdated. And we paid the same as we did for the Arlo rooms full price. And so for a very modern, new, central hotel, I would, I would definitely stay there again, honestly, out of pocket. Um, the one thing I would change is I probably wouldn't stay in Midtown. I'm kind of just over it. I think for the first few times going, it's great, especially as a tourist. You're in a very central location. You're close to Times Square, Manhattan. 
lots of subways like it's just a very convenient place to be but it's very touristy and it's very very busy and we just didn't find it to be the cleanest area honestly i think our next trip we would probably stay in brooklyn or like williamsburg but that is how much our hotel costs i think a lot of times with new york city especially or any travel destination it's just a lot of trial and error i'm just gonna do total costs i'm not gonna do daily breakdowns just because i think that's a little bit easier for you guys so in total for attractions we spent 66 dollars canadian that was for the met that was one general admission and one student admission we also like i said in the video got gifted city pass passes which was really amazing but honestly we were about to pay for them out of pocket and then i was like you know what i'll just email them and see i do think that it's a great deal especially if you're planning to do a lot of touristy stuff it's a lot cheaper to do that than to pay each individual admission um what else did we do oh the morgan library was free when we went i will say the one thing about new york city is there's always like free things to do they found for a lot of museums and attractions there was either like free days or free windows of time like five to seven or some museums and art galleries are just like a pay what you want admission so i will say there is a lot to do that is pretty inexpensive if not free in new york city uh for transportation we paid 89 dollars for the metro for two people or for the subway that's in canadian i will say if you're planning on taking the subway a lot and you're going to be there longer than like one or two days i would get the seven day unlimited pass for 33 dollars. i think it is <sighs> looking back we should have done that honestly but when you compare it to uber and lyft costs and getting around i think it's still not a bad amount of money to spend on transportation anywhere that was under two kilometers we walked to but we did explore other like boroughs of new york city this time like upper west side upper east side chelsea and brooklyn so we did the subway to get there but i do find it a very walkable city then for ubers and lifts this is the one thing i'm not sure if i would do again our uber report to midtown so from laguardia to midtown our hotel was 90 dollars and 80 cents canadian and i'll put on the screen all the surcharges that you pay it's kind of ridiculous honestly and it takes about an hour give or take with traffic could be longer honestly so i think next time we would honestly just take the subway it's two subways and as long as you're not traveling with multiple suitcases i don't think it would be too difficult like if you just had one suitcase and like a backpack because it costs you what three dollars not even 175 or whatever it is to go through and take the subway and it takes about an hour they say anyway so I would be curious to try that next time just to save that kind of money um and then our uber from our hotel to the airport when we were leaving was actually reimbursed because we had a really awful experience souvenirs we spent 136 dollars and 80 cents canadian and that was like literally on book stuff we're not like huge souvenir people that was a mug a tote bag we both got books i got a sweater and then some like little knickknacks like i got a lego keychain and matt got a harry potter pin a coffee we spent 84 dollars canadian keep in mind when we do on trips we tend to splurge more and get like cappuccinos and lattes and things that we don't really order at home because we see it as a as a treat and that is for two people and we were averaging about two coffees a day food we spent 339 dollars and 79 cents canadian which if you guys watch the vlog you would know we're just not big sit down restaurant people we just prefer i mean not that we don't like fine dining i just we're not the kind of people to pay a lot of money especially with the just inflation nowadays to sit down and eat a meal uh, we got pizza i honestly think that number is kind of high because we were like really going all out with like the eight dollar pretzels at the food stands like eight dollars canadian smoothies i will say we did do one sit down meal and that was with my manager and he paid for that meal for us so thomas if you're watching this thank you but we really stuck to like sandwiches pastries at coffee shops and then for dinner you guys saw we did like pizza and then one night we did those like korean bowls that were super yummy at the timeout market um but we just choose not to spend a ton of money on food on trips that is the breakdown of our new york city trip i hope this was helpful for you guys we were there pretty much three full days because friday we got in at around 11 a.m so we were there half to a full day friday full day saturday full day sunday and then we had about a morning on monday so i hope that was helpful if you guys have any questions feel free to let me know down below i would love to help or you can dm me on instagram and yeah i hope that was a little bit helpful in case you're trying to plan a trip to new york city and always keep in mind that you can do things more bougie than us cheaper than us or on par with us i just want to give people a reference point when it comes to booking a trip but i hope you guys enjoyed the new york city vlog and i'll talk to you guys next time bye